Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle card spread that we do on YouTube, so or that I do on YouTube. Um, so what that means is it's not a horoscope, it's an energy reading. And that means that Taurus, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Rising, wherever Taurus energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so. From whenever you see this video, I've stopped um, date marking my videos um, because they're, they, people say, they seem to resonate to people whenever people find them. So um, if you want them hot off the press, I do make a new Taurus video every single week. So please do subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow and get those videos as soon as, as soon as I upload them, as soon as they debut. And you can do that by ringing that bell and making sure that you get notifications. There's always an extended reading from these videos. Um, so that means a deeper dive into the reading an expansion on the reading and a more personalized um, viewpoint of the reading. Uh, that link is below in the description box as well as in the comment section and of course I hope to see you over there let's get right into your energy Taurus energy um, I was a little bit moody going into your reading feeling a little bit irritated with the way that people were trying to mistreat me or mistreat my money in specific, in particular so there was an issue here of scammers people trying to scam uh, people trying to take your money get things that they don't deserve um, offer you one thing when they're, um, say they're, say they're, say they're offering you one thing when they're really not like basically, yeah, just, uh, underhanded type of energy, uh, in it for themselves and definitely not looking out for your best interests, especially where finances are concerned. Hold on. Yeah. Watch and wait. Something is coming out. Um, this is Pisces season. This is the energy of rushing forward and not waiting anymore, of being very impatient. Now, this could be because of Pisces season. Looking back on Pisces season, all that stagnation being held up, everything being so emotional or having to repeat a lot of stuff, a lot of exes coming up, a lot of unexpected baggage coming up, a lot of hurt coming up, a lot of emotions coming up. This energy of just, I can't wait to get out of there. Um, this energy of now things are starting to move forward. This energy of looking back, like I'm out of here, peace out really frustrated, like frustrated energy, not wanting to wait anymore. Um, say in sayonara, baby, right? There's an energy of 53, which adds up to eight. That's, that's destiny. That's it's time. Like everything is in sync now to basically peace out and move forward. Also call a spade a spade and call people out on their BS because think of the channel a message that I was talking to you about as I was shuffling the cards, just that feeling of, I know what you're up to and it's irritating. It's, it's, it's more than just, it's more than just, Hey, listen, they didn't get your money. They didn't screw you or you caught them out. You're calling them out, but there's a hurt. This is emotional. This is still Pisces energy. You taking it personally. This is your, um, this is your, uh, crowning energy. So Taurus, you're definitely taking this personally. Like what is up with the world that people are like this? Why are you a like taking advantage or bothering me or ha ha like now, now you've got a little bit of peace of me. If only my time and attention for in, until I realized what you were really about, why like, why are people like this? That, that's the energy, the energy of just almost kind of bordering on combustible with wanting to explode on people because you're so irritated and you just want to be out of there. Time's up. Um, ooh, okay. Time is up. You're not having any patience anymore for anybody, Taurus. You're pretty much done. Or on a good note, if you've been waiting for something and you've been looking forward to something, that time is here. Stagnation has ended. <clears throat> yep. I don't know why all the cards are falling to the floor, but here you are. Be generous of spirit, finding yourself feeling really good about your future. This is Leo energy looking toward the future, opening up your heart to a future that you know is beautiful, but putting your whole self in, investing yourself, complete confidence, complete, um, complete dedication. Uh, the way forward is your salvation. 
essentially. You have no intent of looking back. Everything that you're doing, all of your energy is progress. Now you could be doing this because there are emotions that you are done with. You don't want to deal with anymore. You don't want to feel them anymore. You don't want to hear them anymore. And no, it's almost, it's not like you're escaping. It's like you're, you're breaking. You're taking a break. You're yeah, all Piscean energy is upside down with you. There is always enough, but there's not. This feeling of running out of time, that's what this is. Standing next to each other, this is the energy of three plus seven, which is 10, coming to a completion, running out of time, being finished, being done, or not feeling like there's enough time. You're in a rush. You're, you want to bullet forward. And I think it's as much to do with wanting to be being sincerely excited about the next chapter as it is wanting to be done with the past, wanting to get away from something that is really hurting you. And there's also a sense of not really wanting to deal with emotions anymore. You've just been drowning and it's too much. It's like, I'm, I'm, it's like you, you want to poke your head up and be like face in the sun, like Leo, not head underwater anymore. Something is being revealed to you. Yeah, um, the BS is, is being uncovered. This is a mask. This is also the energy of eight. So this is destiny. This could be your mask coming off. This could be your, your gloves coming off. This could be a sense of no more faking, no more pretending, and no more dealing with pretenders. You've just exposed something. Like the, when I keep hearing time has run out, you're not giving somebody any more time. Be peace is your central energy, this energy of finding that central, that central um, sort of staff or that central um, pedestal um, to balance the two extremes on. I feel like this, this being your central energy is what you desire, but remember this is also Libra energy, which is Venus energy as well. So Venus must be like sort of your saving grace right now, the thing that is stabilizing you. I forget which sign Venus is in. Hold on, I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, so Venus is in Taurus right now, and it entered Taurus the same day that Mercury entered Aquarius. And Mercury is no, Mercury was still in retrograde, but it's still in, in Aquarius. It's in Aquarius and it's out of retrograde now. And Taurus has, uh, Venus has entered Taurus, which as you know, is it's, it's one of its home signs, that and Libra. There's this sense of, Venus kind of really saving the day almost for you in, in that it solidifies how you feel and how you feel about what you deserve and your self value, your level of value. And it makes you extra defensive and irritated that not only would people try to take advantage of you, but also that they would take advantage of people in general. So there is a sense of you not only really wanting to get at somebody who is trying to take advantage of you, but also expose them to the rest of the world. So the rest of the world sees what they are and they're held accountable. This is a sense of wanting to restore balance by uh, exposing somebody because you're, you're done dealing with the you know what. Mmm. Mmm. Let spirit be your guide, but it's it's in reverse. I don't think you're waiting. Let's put it that way. You're not waiting for signs and symbols from the universe, and it's time to heal. Do you see these two cards together? Change. You're trying to avoid change, and you're trying to avoid healing. That's what's really going on. It's almost like you're making things on the outside of you be extremely important because what's on the inside of you is just so frustrating and burdensome. You don't want to deal with it or look at it anymore. This is kind of an energy of, look at five, five, five sitting right next to each other. Look at this, 55, and this adds up three plus two is five. But it's almost like change gone wrong or trying to avoid change. But I think this is emotionally. Emotionally, you're trying to avoid change. It's almost like you're trying to avoid accepting a truth about something, a truth about maybe losing something or, or being hurt or being disappointed. Um, you're, it, it's like you're trying to internally avoid that truth and outwardly balance that out by doing something good or, or putting all your focus on moving forward. It's like you're trying to balance one out with the other, but the two, the two are like apples and oranges. They don't even make sense.
or what you're trying to do is expose a severe kind of imbalance or a severe, um, hold on. Yeah. It's like you're, you're trying to expose, um, a fake, a player, somebody who is hurtful and spiteful and disconnected. The abundant universe will provide, this is your energy, um, 10, finish, done, or complete, filled to the brim. You have the energy and you have the resources to expose this crap. Uh, bring a gentle touch. Nine, this is Virgo energy, something to do with love, especially if it comes to do with like children, loving children. Um, four or five, you're trying to keep it from them. You're trying to hide it from them. A sense, a sense of something being hidden from the children to protect them because you care about them and you only want them to know love. You only want them to know joy. This is four plus one is five. This is four plus two is six. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't, you want their world. Essentially, it's almost like you're doing this to protect somebody or in defense of somebody else. You don't want their world to feel bad. You don't want their world to be a bad place. So you're trying to either change the world or change community for them, change the environment or stick up on for them on their behalf. Or there's a sense of you're protecting them or maybe you yourself, Taurus, are being protected by people who are trying to care for you or trying to protect you from a pretty harsh truth or a pretty harsh reality, which is something that is a little bit unhealthy, a little bit unstable, and the future isn't clear or the future has been denied to something or somebody. A sense of not really wanting them, like keeping, keeping this truth from them while confronting the truth yourself, uh, there's just this energy of, of um, maybe trying to move away from something quickly and making everything seem happy and safe because you want, you want other people around you to feel like everything is okay. All right, nothing to see here. I'm back to work. Everything is great. There's an energy of love, speaking about love, speaking about love, speaking about support, taking care of somebody. Um, but in some ways, um, making it more gentle than it should be because it's like you're, you're, you're hiding it. It's the gentleness is, is a, there's a fakeness to it. There's not a fakeness to the intent behind it, but there's a fakeness to it in that it's got more to do with somebody running away from their own fear than it does have to do anything to do with you not being able to handle it or the person you're trying to protect not being able to handle it. Let me flip the camera around so you can see the cards with me. And there's Gemini energy here. Once again, love is all around. You are never alone. Now, If it weren't for this energy, there could be this stabilizing energy of somebody finally being exposed as them loving you. Somebody's feelings and emotions finally being exposed and an offer of love being made to you. But here you have very impulsive, impetuous, progressive energy. You could finally be able to move forward with something that means a lot to you, something that you really love, something that you have been working on for a while. But there is this energy of being unmasked. Do you see two cards? Act as if is still in play. Like it's st there's still something being pretended here, um, being wrapped up or being disguised. So it could be love still being disguised. Um, but see, this is what I'm saying. It's almost like act as if bring a gentle touch. Your, your touch is too gentle. It's like you're acting like everything is all good because you, know, because you, you want everything to be all good. Because there is good stuff going on in your life for you to focus on because maybe there is, it's, it's like, it's like you, maybe you've just started dating somebody and, and something has happened and it's falling apart. Like, like, like stuff with your family is falling apart and you're really scared and you're really worried, but at the same time, you don't want to talk about it because this is a new situation and you want to protect them from it. You don't want to get too heavy into a circumstance or it's just like a, a scenario where you have young kids and you're, you're maybe somebody just passed away or somebody is very, very ill and you don't want them to know it because you're, you're keeping it from them because there's an energy of act as if everything is okay. Act as if being real kind, being real sweet. Oh, everything is fine. Everything is fine. How 
are you feeling? Are you good? Um, you know, come in, I'll have, I'll have some more. Of course, you're always welcome here. It's not that you're being fake to the person. It's that you're, you're over, you're like over sugaring the environment for somebody or they're over sugaring it for you so that you can be at peace and that you won't be bogged down by all this craziness that's happening because there is an energy of there's a lot of maybe um disc not discord but um risk like poor health time to heal this is upside down five 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 it's like a change if something's a little bit out of control something's a little bit unknown there's a lot that's still unknown but you're trying to act like everything is okay yep and it's because you're tired. You're, you're, you're tired of all the emotions. You're tired of all the craziness. You want to just feel happy and, and buoyant. And you want to like just kind of wrap yourself in a, in a place where you are loved and you can only think of the positive and of the future. But I, there's, a, there's a sense here that something is going to be exposed and ultimately you're going to have to confront it whether you're ready or not. Or they're going to confront you about it. Watch and wait. See, you're done. All this is, this is, that's why this is the crowning energy. Impatience. Ready to move forward. Not taking anybody's BS anymore. Making progress and the illusion being taken away. Could also be a loss of innocence. Let's go over into the extended. I really want to articulate this reading with tarot. Full tarot card spread, Taurus, as well as your romance reading. I'll see you guys over there.